welcome back to the Cool Fears channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Magic Girl, aka the Buff Collector. The information on this channel is intended for doll collectors and not children. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection Pumpkin Wrapper. But first, if you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures, analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them if that's your sort of thing go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it go ahead and hit that bell notification icon so you stay notified when i do upload new content and if you do enjoy this video or any other content that i put out please remember to give them a thumbs up it is free and easy for you to do and it really helps the channel grow with all that out of the way guys once again we're gonna be taking a look at the power rangers hasbro lightning collection pumpkin wrapper now if you guys don't know this is a villain from the original mighty Morphin power rangers where if you didn't know it kind of took place in the 90s when uh rap and hip-hop was kind of on the up and up and well power rangers decided to go ahead and capitalize on this and create a villain that was a pumpkin and also a rapper so yeah throughout this whole episode this guy basically spits some really 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 fucking bad raps all throughout the episode um but despite that he's actually one of the more cooler and more i guess evil type villains which we'll get into in a bit uh when we take a look at his accessories but talking about accessories well i'm gonna go ahead and just jump on into this and take a look at his accessories because uh he is a power rangers lightning collection figure so that means he does come with quite a few accessories especially with him being a villain most of the villains in this line are deluxe figures uh so they come packed with a little bit more than uh what we usually see so first up let's go ahead and take a look at his uh, I guess his lasso so he does have a vine lasso right here so that he can grab a hold of those pesky rangers and bring them in and he does also have not only just a lasso with a loop but also a kind of like a grabbing lasso so he can like throw this out and he'll grab them and you know hook them and you know do different stuff it's just a different little option that they threw in there seeing as he is a deluxe figure so he does come with a set of alternate hands so he does come with a pair of C grip hands right here which as you can see are very well detailed and done so all throughout his body he does have like that texturing of a pumpkin right down to his hands so that is super cool I have to hand it to Hasbro they do do amazing work with the sculpt of the villains of this line you know uh, these are very unique sculpts that cannot be utilized and reused for other figures and other characters uh, so I think Goldar is really the only one that they've really been able to reuse and utilize again uh, but like with this guy King Sphinx uh, the new fish uh, villain and the eyeball villain eye guy I think his name is ironically um, you know they're very unique sculpts that cannot be utilized again so super cool and like I said he does have like that pumpkin texturing all throughout and he does have really cool paint applications as well as you can see he has some greening right here in between to you know kind of separate the oranges uh, but yeah so he does also come with a fisted hand and a kind of action open hand which we will go ahead and take a look at once we pull all this effects and pumpkin off of him but before we go ahead and do that, we do have one other thing to take a look at. And so you do see a pumpkin right here. So you do get a total of three of these. And uh, no, they're not just cool diorama pieces because, yes, they are cool diorama pieces to just set around him and kind of make a pumpkin patch. But if you do not know and if you did not see this episode, he has the power to control rangers. And that's why I said this guy is actually one of the more evil uh, and powerful villains despite spitting some horrible raps throughout the entire episode and you know falling to that fault that he is the pumpkin rapper but um the cool thing is that in the episode he takes control of the rangers by essentially putting pumpkins on their heads and yes like i said these are not just typical display pieces these can go on your power rangers lightning collection figures as you can see there's a peg hole right there so um we'll go ahead and take a look at that in a sec uh so first and foremost i do want to show off this lightning effect because it is one of the cooler ones that have come with any of the ones in this line in general and i don't know what it is but the villains get some really cool lightning effects which is really cool though because the villains always sometimes get shortchanged on certain lines but it's really cool to see like the one that came with goldar and his sword really looks 
cool and fits very well. Uh, some of the ones that come with the Power Rangers don't fit too well, uh, but it seems like the ones with the villains do. But with that being said, why don't we go ahead and pull him forward so we can take a look at it. So if we turn him sideways, you can see that this thing is a massive lightning effect, and it does extend all the way and past his arm right there as you can see um, and it does start off thin and tapered so that it can fit his arm and it does open up so that you can fit a pumpkin in there however it does not come with a pumpkin in there it's just something that I found that it can hold and surprisingly his arm can actually support the weight thankfully because that's the way I display him with that pumpkin in there but without the pumpkin in there that's essentially what you get this giant vortex uh, this giant green vortex and if you've been a follower of this channel You know why I said it that way because I absolutely love green It is my favorite color and this has to be like I said one of the coolest if not the coolest effects that uh, The Hasbro team has included in this lightning collection. So it does go around his arm right there It's kind of a bit of a hassle to kind of fit it on there uh, But it can fit nicely and so like I said you do get this open action hand so it looks like he's you know creating this you know lightning effect thing or controlling his uh, pumpkin power rangers so with that being said guys before we take a look at this guy's articulation why don't we go ahead and give him some pumpkin power rangers so give me one sec guys and we'll be right back all right and we're back and we're back with the pumpkin wrapper and his army of pumpkin headed power rangers now i know you're saying wait buff collector weren't there three pumpkins now yes there are so i'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put the pumpkin head on here which is actually very simple like i said it just pops on as you would a alternate head sculpt so you pop the first head sculpt off and then you just pop the pumpkin head on and it's on so yeah, there we go. So here we have the Green Ranger. So here we have the Pumpkin Wrapper commanding his army of pumpkin-headed Power Rangers. So like I said, this guy has some pretty crazy powers, uh, you know, to be able to do this to the Rangers. So one of the more powerful and evil ones, in my opinion. So once again, guys, we'll be right back. Let me go ahead and rearrange this. Let me put his army behind him, pull him forward. So that way we can get a closer look at him and, of course, take a look at his articulation. All right, guys, once again, we are back, and here we have the pumpkin wrapper front and center pulled forward so we can take a nice, close look at him. And like I said, Hasbro definitely hit it out of the park with the sculpt on this guy. I mean, look at all the detailing in the lines in the sculpt from the pumpkin head to all this greenery around his shoulders and neck and even just the overall lines in and throughout the body in itself like i said the change in green to orange right here i mean obviously the knee kind of like takes away from that but when you have them closed up it looks really really good so yeah guys super cool i mean just for an, a sculpt like it's just awesome i have to image such a unique sculpt super cool and awesome even if i wasn't collecting this line i probably would have picked this guy up uh because he's such a unique figure and he can definitely make for a cool crossover figure. Man, I don't know why I didn't do any Halloween picks with this guy this past year. I am stupid. Uh, but this year, guys, this year. And on top of all that, I definitely would have picked him up when I saw him on clearance like I did, which is how I picked this guy up. Uh, I did not pay the full price. Uh, most of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection line will go on clearance, so just a heads up, guys. So with that being said, guys... Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy's articulation because he is a full-ass pumpkin man. So let's see what this full-ass pumpkin man can do in terms of movement. So he can look all the way to the right, all the way to the left, but obviously with all this around his neck, he's not going to be able to look up or down. He has no head side-to-side -side wobble or any kind of movement right there. His arms will go out to a T-pose. This will go into the shoulder. He does have a butterfly joint right there. He does get 360 rotation at the shoulders right there. It's got to be careful and push through. You do get rotation at the bicep. You do get double hinge elbows right there. But uh, his head kind of prevents it, which is a new thing. Usually it's the forearm running into the bicep, but this time it's his head's too big. But you do get double hinge elbows. You do get rotation at the wrist as well as hinging in and out on them. You do get rotation at the upper torso right there, as well as a very nice ab crunch cut right there. So you can crunch down that far and crunch back that far so taking a look at his leg articulation this guy can join the cheerleading squad he's not going to be the leader or anything but he does kick out pretty decently he does come with an upper thigh cut right there he can kick out that far he cannot kick back at all like all the figures in the lightning collection he does come with double hinge knees and last but not least let's go ahead and take a look at his ankle articulation which will go all the way down there up that far and of course 
a ball rocker hinge right there so yeah guys super cool like i said i don't know why i didn't do any halloween picks with this guy this past year but halloween comes around every year so best believe i'll be doing some later this year with this guy but with that being said guys join me every sunday morning for coffee and toys a weekly toy news toy talk podcast where we will go over all the latest and great toy news reveals pre-orders and so much more and join me every wednesday on instagram at cool figures for coffee and toys live where i will speak to a new guest every week so let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool pics that i took of this guy and if you did enjoy this video please remember to like share comment and subscribe and as always have a great fucking day Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those pics, you can find the full images over on Instagram at Cool Figures. And I do have a separate Instagram account for my more thought out, planned out, more edited pics called Epic Shots by Cool Figures. Check it out. If you like what you see, leave me a follow there as well. And if you guys want to see the unboxing of any figures I do reviews on for this channel, go ahead and check me out over on TikTok at Cool Figures. That's where I post all my unboxings. And join me every Sunday morning for Coffee and Toys, a weekly Toy News Toy Talk podcast where we will go over all the latest and great toy news, reveals, pre-orders, and so much more. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really appreciate it. As always, I'm your host, Jess the Bat Madrigal, aka The Buff Collector. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much to this channel sponsor, V-Rare Store. Check them out for all your Funko Pop, anime, Pokemon card, and toy print needs. And of course, use code COOLFIGURES at checkout for 10% off your order. V-Rare Store, check them out, guys.